Yo, what up? It's Eclipse from Team Ruthless. And today I wanted to talk about the danger of removing staples from franchises. Or, not franchises. Well, yeah, franchises and video game series, pretty much. And, um, not to pick on it, but Mar I'm, a, I'm probably going to focus this video on mostly Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Not because it's a bad game or anything, but just because it's the latest one that I'm playing that... It was a long-awaited sequel, and it does have some pretty good examples from what I mean. So, for those of you who don't know what a staple is, and specifically a staple in video gaming is something like Halo. So, Halo, in every Halo game, there is the uh, assault rifle. Uh, I don't remember the name of that. I think it's just the battle rifle. Um, there is the fact that until five it is two players co-op locally um things like devil may cry where dante it, there's a it's a staple that dante will have a multitude of weapons he can choose from um the rebellion is also a staple for that series uh mario kart the staples would be the green shell the red shell the bananas those are all staples of video gaming and i just want to talk about the again the danger of removing them and why I think some series are start to fall off because of it so the danger from removing staples is especially for video game sequels is that you're building up this fan base who are kind of expecting it. They're expecting this, this, these staples to stay in the game, and especially if people who, you know, unlike me, or aren't like me and aren't doing research and looking up other game play videos before a game comes out. As soon as they cut on, so again, I'm using Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 as an example, not because it's a bad game, but because it's the latest game I've been playing. And it, it, it removed a bunch of uh, little staples that I noticed the community miss and that I miss. So, one of those staples that Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 took out was the combo system. Now, in the past Ultimate Alliance and Legends games, you could use a combo system that allowed you to do pop-up attacks, trip attacks, stun attacks. And I believe, that, I believe they dumbed it down to like three. Yeah, I think it was always three. Stun, pop-ups, and trip attacks. Now, in the Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, it's pretty much just a light attack, light string of combos, and a heavy attack. And in Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, heavy attacks kind of feel useless. So, especially since you can't combo them into anything. Now, they, I guess they messed with the stagger meter a little bit heavier than flight attacks, but honestly, since they added the synergy attacks the stagger the heavy attack is yeah the heavy attacks are damn near useless <laughs> in marvel Ultimate alliance 3 may it again if you could combo them into your light stream combos they'd be really cool but since you can't it kind of sucks and again i feel like i'm playing more of a dynasty warriors game and i'm just spamming you know the attack button and using my powers then unlike marvel then i am a marvel ultimate alliance game where i'm doing pop-ups and blasting them into the air and another thing they got rid of was grappling now again grappling was one of those things that you really didn't need to use but it was cool to use it and then especially in marvel ultimate alliance one and i believe two where you had I don't. Th I think two got rid of this too, which sucks. But one where you could, they all had like these little grapple, grappling. I don't even know what they call them, but you, <laughs> like little finishing moves. So like, so a Deadpool, you could like grab him, then Deadpool will like kick him up in the air, and then let him land on. He'll stick his sword straight up into the air, and they like land on his sword. Or Iron Man would like pick him up take them up into the air and throw them into the ground things like that they were really cool to do they look really flashy uh even grabbing an, an opponent while one of your your teammates would blast them or something like that there was just a lot of cool things that you could do with grappling even just grabbing them and then punching them in the face was pretty cool so i don't know why they got rid of grappling 
for most of the characters, and even for the heavy characters, the difference between grappling with a heavy or somebody like the Hulk and Wolverine, where Hulk would pick the guy up with one hand and just swing his body into other people, like, and that was like something you could do in all the games. So I don't know why would they would get rid of that. That was a, a really cool staple in the franchise, and it just sucks that they removed it. And again, I'm having fun with Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, but there's a bunch of little things they took out that could have made the game that much better and made it feel like it was still part of the Marvel Ultimate Alliance series. Now, one of the third staples that they removed that I really missed was the trivia mode. Now, this was... This has nothing to do with gameplay. I mean, you got a little bit of experience from it in the in the Legends and Ultimate Alliance games, but it was just really cool to you know have a little test for the Marvel fans to see how much you really knew about the Marvel series. Um, I don't know why they took that out, and I don't know what it would take to input that in, but it, it was just so cool, man. Just having like a, a test if you really knew like simple questions or not simple questions well they'd be simple they'd go from being simple to hard like how does spider-man get to his powers to the next one is like what is wolverine's real name and then the next one is what school did uh daredevil go to <laughs> like even the little tiny bit of facts that could help you level up your character it was just a really cool system and it's really cool especially playing with a bunch of marvel heads and we all trying to find out and Knowing if you you actually know the history between comic series too, because they ask you stuff from like they try to trick you up, like where Miss Marvel get her powers and have Rogue as an answer when she really got her powers from Miss Marvel, and, the, and I think that only happened in the cartoon, not the actual comics. But again, it that sucks that they got rid of that. It was, it was a really fun part of the game. Um, Another big thing is costumes, and I know that they plan on adding them in the DLC, but Marvel Ultimate Alliance and I think the X-Men Legends games, a lot of characters had a lot of costumes. Some of them have like more than, I think Wolverine had like five in X-Men Legends too. I could be wrong, but it's just one of those things again where, and I do like some of the reskins the recolors in, in Ultimate Alliance 3 because you can tell that they tried to base them off of other costumes Spider-Man probably has the best one in my opinion but again like Nightcrawler had his um, Age of Apocalypse costume Wolverine had his classic outfit he had his mo his modern outfit he had his ultimate outfit um, Spider-Man had his symbiote outfit he had his iron armor outfit Iron Man had his War Machine outfit. He had the classic armor. It's just you had in Ultimate Alliance One. You had four choices with every character, and most of them were vastly different from the their classic costume. You know what I'm saying? So I just don't see why they couldn't at least have one other costume like Ultimate Alliance Two did, like one other vastly different costume and recolors and if not that at least have four recolors based off of the other the other outfits they have in, in the series spider-man you can literally recolor all his outfits and it will look like a different costume same thing with wolverine you got his class or i think that ah like wolverine's x-force costume is literally just a different color you couldn't do that same thing with deadpool he has the blue and yellow x-men outfit he has the black and silver X-Men outfit. I just don't understand why they couldn't add... I don't understand why they couldn't add more recolors. And I don't understand why they couldn't have more um, outfits. Shoot. Marvel, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, some of their outfits aren't even... Aren't even canon with those characters. Uh, Spider-Woman has the Spider-Girl outfit. Who is not even the same character. That's actually Peter Parker's daughter from the future. So again, I don't know why they couldn't do that. It's kind of disheartening. But I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> again, it's just a staple. Like it's one of those things where you see it. I mean, it's in every game, and then you get it. You get to the the next sequel, and 
all these little things are just taken out of the game and it just it kind of messes it's like is this even a, a true sequel sequels are supposed to be better than the last one and you're taking this stuff out I think the last staple they removed from Marvel Open Lines 3 was that the fact that there was special character dialogue between other characters that you talked to into the game. So like if you were Wolverine and you talked to Sabretooth, he had some smart to say or if you were Lo if Loki was there and you had Thor, he'd say something specific to Thor. And now in Marvel Open Lines 3, they'll even talk to your character about your character to your character like your character's not there like uh it just kind of i don't know is it a big deal no but it's just not like there was a lot of magic and, and it felt like they were really trying to to combine the actual marvel series into the game like it, it, they actually wanted to show you the lore and, and, and how these characters connected and Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, there's some parts where it's like, ha oh, yeah, but <laughs> not it's it doesn't feel as a deep connection as compared to the, you know the legends in, in Alliance games. So uh, it sounds like I'm ranting about this game, but I'm really not. I really love Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 and this almost makes me want to do a video just talking about the good things they changed because I feel like I'm kinda nitpicking and complaining about it but i really do love this game guys um the, again there's other series I, I could go on about too like halo 5 when i freaking cut that game on i literally bought a controller to play halo 5 with my sister who we like to we call we we literally had a halo marathon running through all the halo games two player local co-op i bought five i bought a controller just for it not to have two players local co-op, bro. Almost returned the game. Almost returned the game that day. I mean, maybe it's just me, you know. But I, there's again, there's a lot of things, and I think that's you know, if y'all don't, if y'all remember the Devil May Cry reboot, that's just one of the things they removed. There was more than the way that Dante looked that was bad about the game. Like Dante, not only did he look terrible, again. <laughs> staple dante always looks the same he looked terrible in the game the game was 30 frames per second devil may cry there's a staple in 60 frames per second that should be a staple for all fighting or not fighting games but action games if you ask me but devil may cry was always 60 frames per second dmc whatever that y'all want to call that crappy game that i never played that game was 30 frames per second it didn't play as good I don't even know if he had other weapons in that game or not. I never played it. I didn't even look at gameplay videos. It was just bad. From what everybody told me, it was bad, and I just kind of ran with it. But they're just there's just things you don't take out of video games. Like they're just staples you shouldn't remove. Like there's 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 a reason why they're there. You know what happens when you remove a staple from a piece of paper? Everything falls apart. And that's what happens to the game. Like uh, and maybe I'm being a little bit dramatic. <laughs> but Ah, uh, you can't remove staples, man. It's too dangerous. It's too dangerous. It, it, it hurts the series more than you would think. And, you know, most of the people... I'm in a Discord. Uh, shout out to Always Nerdy, who who put together this Discord. But the, the game's slowing down already. And I don't know if it's because those staples are removed or because how this game is... How people are playing it. But that's a whole other story for another time. But it's just... I don't know doesn't feel like the old ultimate alliance we used to know you know what i'm saying and again it's a great game i really loved it a lot and i'm still playing it to this day but i mean it's only been out for like what a month maybe two three weeks <laughs> but anyways i'm out with this video if you guys yo comment tell me what you guys think this kind of turned more into a rant than i wanted it to be but man <laughs> it is what it is Y'all be safe, deuces. Follow and subscribe if y'all like what I'm saying. And that's it. Peace.